David Dork is with us, and he is the Emotional Freedom Technique Master, and he's going to tell us how this all works, how we can uh, get rid of these uh, types of issues, cravings, phobias, mm -hmm. by doing this technique. Now, this is something we can teach ourselves to do, you, right? I, I teach all my clients to do it, uh, yeah. because in between sessions, I like them to do their own homework. Right. Um, EFT will work on all kinds of amazing things, but, you know, we're pretty guarded people, right? So our defense will only let, allow us to go so far. That's where it's good to have an EFT tapping buddy or whatever right. because you're getting a kind of a different perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Now, okay, I'm trying to understand how this works. Will this, if I do this, does this eventually, like I, like I look at this bag of Miss Vicky's potato <laughs> chips and, and, and I wouldn't feel the way I do right now about it. You wouldn't it, right? like the oh. exterior of the bag anymore. That's right, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Lick it, man. Like, no. <laughs> no. So basically, he just, yeah, he just won't want that anymore? He no, it's break? not a matter of not wanting it. He'll have the choice. Oh, okay. You know, you oh, you won't have a breakdown eating, anymore. Yeah, okay. Comfort eating and stuff like that is, you know, you ever sit in front of a, a TV and just mindlessly eating things. Right. You're just stuffing some kind of anxiety or whatever. That seems to be what's going on. Okay. Um, deal with the anxieties and the, the desire goes away. It doesn't mean that you'll never eat chips again. I've been, I've been training people for 11 years. I still eat Hershey's Kisses and I enjoy every one that I have. Mm -hmm. So okay. it'll work good for smoking too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I remember I, I tapped on a guy and it was 10 minutes and he quit smoking for four days. He said, I forced myself to go back to smoking because he there was secondary gains and stuff. You're pretty alone when you don't smoke anymore. You don't get the breaks right. you know, that everybody else gets because they get, yeah. you know, there was all it kinds of... It's definitely social right now, especially yeah. when everyone having to meet out, congregate outside That's right. these days, That's right? right? It's, it's a, a social, social setting. And yet I think you're finding fewer and fewer people that are out there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, especially yeah. when it's minus 20 in yeah. the gym. That's right. And they're That's like, right. Yeah. Oh. Hey, the smokers are the only ones getting fresh air. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Is it well, fresh air? Yeah, it is fresh air. Okay, yeah. so what, what is the technique then? Okay. It's so, uh, yeah, everybody's got their junk food, so yep. you ready? Uh, okay. play along at home now. Okay. So first of all, let's tap on the side of your hand. There's a very clinical term for this. It's uh -huh. called a karate chop spot. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Just tap on the side of your hand. All right. The next spot is directly on the top of your head. Ooh. This is going to get annoying. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, now, are we doing this for the right amount of time, or uh, we... about seven to ten taps? Okay. okay. Then tap on your eyebrow. It's between the bridge of your nose and your eyebrow. Okay. If you're a unibrow, go shave, come back. Okay. <laughs> Wax on off. the side of your eye, and it's not on your temple, but on the uh, orbital bone. Yep. Okay. Yeah, right on the edge. Good. Okay. Underneath your eye. Uh huh. Good. Underneath your nose. This is where it starts getting weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> on, on your chin and that little cleft there. Okay. Yeah. This is when people turn on the TV and go, "What are they doing?" Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next is make a fist and don't hold it really hard or anything, but just tap where your collarbone joins into your sternum. In my necklace. Yes, that's good. Yeah. The audio engineers have an yeah. idea. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they don't like this at all. Chopper. Yeah, yeah. Chopper yeah. eleven spot. Yeah, that's right. Uh, four inches down from your armpit on the side of your body. Say along your broadband, along your broadband. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. How did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That, wow. that, and just tapping on those spots will reduce your cravings, your anxiety, your fears. Now, are you thinking uh, about your... You have to be thinking okay. about it, and, so and as specifically as you can. Like if somebody comes to me and says, I need you to tap on because I feel lonely, that's a very general statement. Mm. I'm interested in what gave you the conclusion that you're lonely. Um, well, I was locked in my, my room on Thanksgiving Day while everybody else was having Thanksgiving dinner. That would create a sense of loneliness. Um, Dad didn't show up my high school graduation. You know, I, mm -hmm. I just felt rejected or then alone. So saying I'm lonely, it's a very general statement because I'm lonely is just a conclusion that you've come up with based on a student. So what if someone at home right now has a big piece of pie in front of them or something? What, what, what should they, they be thinking when they're looking at that? Their desire, whatever it is. Okay. Even though I desire this butter tart, mm -hmm. or even though I'm craving this butter tart, something that simple. In fact, why don't we do a demonstration? Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. okay. On a scale of zero to 10, and everybody at home, try on a scale of zero to 10. Zero meaning I have no desire at all. 10, I got to eat these or, or I'm going to go nuts. What number would you be with your chips right now? Oh, let's put it around five. About a five? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, seven. seven? Okay. <laughs> I kind okay, of stopped sniffing because of that. Everybody yeah, go home. Right. Rate on a scale of zero to ten. Now start tapping on the hand. And we're, I'm going to use generic. Let's use chocolate, okay? okay. And you use chips. Okay. Head. All right. Even though I desire this chocolate, mm -hmm. and you can say that. Yeah. Even though I desire this. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply, I deeply and completely, completely accept, accept myself. myself. Even though I desire this chocolate. Even, Even though I, I desire, desire this chocolate. Chip. 
I love and forgive myself. I love, I love and forgive, forgive myself. myself. Even though I desire this chocolate, even though I desire <laughs> this, this chocolate. I choose to be calm and relaxed. I choose, I choose to, be to be calm, calm and, and relaxed. Now tap on the top of your head and focus on your chocolate, on desire. Desire for this chocolate. This is called a reminder statement. Desire for this chocolate. Desire for this chip. chip. <laughs> Eyebrow. Desire for these chips. Desire for these chips. Side of the eye. Desire for the butter tarts. Whatever it is your craving is. Underneath your eye. I love butter this tarts. This desire. <laughs> <laughs> under your nose. This desire. Focus on your, your on what you desire. On your chin. Mm -hmm. This desire. Tap on that collarbone spot. Sorry, sound engineer. Yeah. This desire. Underneath your mouth. This desire. Now take a deep breath. Now we'll check in and say on a scale of zero to ten, what would you be desire to eat that right now? I'll spell it again just because. Yeah. I don't know if it's like, I know your mind is so powerful, but yeah, I really don't care if I eat it now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, and I'm not just saying that, That's but, EFT at work, but okay? You can call it whatever you want, but I know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about your chips? Well, you know, I, I feel like I'd be wasting them, and... Uh, yeah. That's, <laughs> okay. That's good. So the immediate cravings. Now, yeah. you see the, you know, how important that is. Yeah. I don't have to eat this now. I have a choice now. Yeah. And that's, yeah, we you know, when it comes to choice. weight loss and stuff Ooh, like that, you certainly... This. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put more information so, up for David Rourke. Emotional Freedom Techniques, David Rourke and Associates. You're in Virgil, right? Yes. All right, beautiful area. 1-888-834-7073, davidrourke.ca. You can do this over the phone, too. Absolutely. Um, Mondays, I, I work in three different time zones. All right. Yeah, Thanks for coming on the show.